Well, I think the title came from um, that the, the cover itself is a sort of high concept kind of cover. And uh, it relates, because it's got an animal on the front like the first one, it kind of relates to the first one. And, th and every time we kind of put a title to that, it just seemed to be too much kind of um, information, I felt. And then the idea was just to call it Grinder Man 2, which, which sort of felt more like a, an instalment or kind of one of, a, one of many, that there'll be a Grinder Man, hopefully a Grinder Man 8 and a Grinder Man 10 and all of that sort of stuff. When you take the plastic wrapper off the record, the two goes as well. So it's just another Grinder Man record. So historically, in you know, 20 years' time, when they open up some kind of capsule that's been hidden in the earth in 200 years' time and bring out a Grinder Man record, it'll be known not as Grinder Man 2, but as the Wolf record or the Monkey record. Or a woman called Alinka Hopfner, who is just out of, you know, she sent me a video two or three years ago that was, she did it at art school in her final year, an animated video of a bad seed song called Moonland. And it was a really amazing thing and I kind of called her up and asked her if she would animate one of the songs off the album. Actually not a single, but um, which is Mickey Mouse and the Goodbye Man, it's called. And she did this amazing piece of animation for that, which we'll release, I think, early next year. That was us. The director's just some. <laughs> he was cheap. He's made a couple of films or something. He's made a couple of films. He's actually made a lot of good films, but it was very much a collaboration. It wasn't. Um, um, and I think the reason why it was the way it is. As extreme, I guess, as it is in certain ways, is because we're very good friends with the director, and he's able to kind of get us to do stuff that I, I think, if it was some other director coming in and saying, you know, we want you to dress up as gladiators or whatever the whatever they're doing, um, we probably wouldn't have done that. But I mean, but I, you know, he's a great, he does great stuff, John John Hilker. Have you seen it? Yes, you said <laughs> you, you, know, you know you're responsible for global warming then. And Jim wipes oh, out yeah, the dinosaurs. All the, all the bowls. Well, the explosive farts were... were um, and the funny thing about that is that I had a slight problem with that. And, and uh, um, John said, don't worry, it's Jim doing it. And I went, oh, well, fuck, keep it in there. And then the other day I was sort of, hang on a sec, and then uh, and actually it's me doing yeah, it. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Trip <the> chair. <laughs> but um, anyway, x-ray <laughs> eyes would be good. But the most surprising thing about the Grinder Man was the new, uh, the B-side of the new single we put out, which was <laughs> the wrong song. Um, so if anyone's actually bought that, 12-inch um, vinyl version. The Fripp Grinder Man, Robert Fripp Grinder Man song that was put on the B-side is not the right song. The whole music industry no, no, is we, falling no, apart. No, no. <laughs> 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 <laughs>